it correctly, Ness destroys Ness. Like, this is definitely like a 7-3 matchup in Ness's favor. Wait, what? <laughs> I, I, I'm really good at math, but this <laughs> this is not adding up. There's, um, okay, so uh, kind of what I mean by that is that once Ness hits Ness, boy, does he take him for a ride. Don't forget that if Ness tries to up B, Ness has a way of stopping that up B in its tracks by absorbing it. If we, he's ever put an off situation off stage, that could just be curtains for either one of them. Okay, do you want to know the only time I ever saw a Ness ditto? Was that Riptide, Dara playing another Ness player who I don't know. She won, so it was period, but I... Look at it. Look at him yelling! Oh my god, I'm sorry. PK this is... Five, PK5, five. Ooh, and he heals too. Honestly, right now, Tony Pajama's looking pretty good. I think if we were to assume who would be you know, the victor in this matchup, Tony Pajamas was seated, I think, much lower than PK Chris, considering the fact that PK Chris has encores underneath his belt. Mm -hmm. So the fact that, at least at the start of this game, considering this is a ditto, I don't know, adaptation in the ditto is weird. I'm not saying it isn't there, but it's weird, you know what I mean? Like, it really requires you to figure out what your opponent is doing, not necessarily what they're doing with the character, because you're playing the same character. That is true, and also, it's just, like, also, like, once you, like, have played the matchup plenty of times before... Ooh, that was such a good stall from PK Chris. Actually went a lot lower, so he can actually stall that recovery right there. And to that, you know, you know, adding to that, it's like, whenever you're, like, playing the Ditto, you, you already should be knowing what your character can do yourself. <laughs> Excuse me? I did not know back here did that. Becker, Becker went burr. <laughs> Hello? Hold on a second. Ness is too short for Ness to hit Ness out of shield. Ness is a tiny child. And a child that got punted by a magical other child. Like... <laughs> <laughs> is this what Harry Potter was really about? Harry magical Potter? children beating the crap out of each other. Magical boys? Magi there were magical boys in Harry Potter. Where did he go? What the Badoodle? He went to um, the Shadow Realm. I've been to the Shadow Realm and it ain't that. Oh. <laughs> a knockoff Shadow Realm. Like one that you get at the dollar store for like 50 cents, please. <laughs> it's Shadow Realm, but it's like spelled R E L M E. <laughs> <laughs> please. No. But that is what's going to actually tie up this game because, like, as we're kind of seeing right now. You get Chris is kind of getting handled. I don't know. Like that first stock, that that was that PK Chris like got kicked like a soccer ball. And he did, but I do think that like right now they're going back and forth. Considering the absolute domination that Tony Pajamas, Tony Pajamas, I sorry I was pronouncing his name wrong. That PJs. Tony Pajamas was uh, doing before. Oh, he's gonna absorb it. Yeah, nothing you can do, buddy. Woo! You're dead. Period. I, I might have to retract my statement because this is this is alright. PK fire. Now PK fire. Now one thing about this matchup, uh, mm -hmm. or just like dittos in general, is the fact that when you um when one person has a percentage lead, that means they can like afford the sort of exchanges where they trade. Because mm. trades just happen a lot in Dittos. Because, you know, your characters both want to occupy the same kind of space. And right now, if you're PK Chris, yeah, you'll take trades. You'll take trades all the time. Uh, but, yeah, no trading with back throw. Instead, now P Tony managing to even up the stock count with already 60%. And I also, mm. let's just think about the fact that there were certain things that PK Chris was really getting punished for that he's just not doing any of anymore. Like, he used to... <laughs> He used to be like throwing out PK fires and they would get absorbed. He's not doing any of that. Instead, no he's just more. staying on top of him, hitting him with those juicy, juicy psi normals. I, I, I just want to mention one thing. Okay, right. So you know Ness is back there, right? Right, right. You know about it. Uh, I am vaguely familiar. Okay, like it, it's good that you're vaguely familiar. That's um, um, um the, yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> because the one thing I would like to mention about Ness back here. It looks like that one scene where Patrick gets just thrown into oblivion. 
That's what the that reminds me of. Scene. So where he just gets like beaten up and then you're like, oh, and then like into the fly of despair. Yup. Ultra despair, Patrick. Killing Yo, harmony. Nick, I can't wait for Nick All Stars and that to be um, uh, the fly of despair to be a stage. Wait. Continuous falling. Can't <laughs> wait for it. Damn, that's so crazy. But it's looking like PK Chris has gotten a handle on. Tony Pajamas and actually punting Tony Pajamas in return because what you don't like hitting a ball or at least something that looks like a ball. What? Something you don't like hitting a ball. I love hitting balls. Uh, well, okay, but like it's Ness. Ness is. Uh, how short do you think Ness is? Like, hello? Uh, I think he's like. Well, okay, if Mario is four feet, then he's two feet. So he's not even. Then like, again, Bayonetta is six feet. So I think she's seven he's, feet. What? Is she seven feet? She's like over six feet. Nice. Um, she's a tall lady. <laughs> tall lady. Um, so he's like three feet. I don't know, man. His head is like <laughs> six times the size of. I, I. Like, we should talk about the match, but. It's okay. There are certain. We, we, we needed a bit of a break to dwell on the absolute inane nonsense. Back to things as they come. Back to what I'm about to do it. Wow, it surprises me without any rage. That means that Tony Pajamas is living. Not by much, but living nonetheless. And you want to kind of know the thing, too, about this is that, like, this is normally a stage that we really see DK Chris thrive on. And it's kind of looking like a little bit of a reverse from that. Oh, I can't believe he didn't go down there. That's the exact situation where you can go down there and absorb the PK Thunder. Yeah, now he's going to do it. There it is. Yep. Oh, boy. Had to do it to him. He did it to me. Anything you could do, I could do better. But it's not going to matter when you have a big yo-yo hitting you in the face. What? Okay. Yeah, Tony Pajamas looking dominant in a way that we have not seen so far. And considering a PK, Chris, it felt like he had a handle on what he needed to do. That whatever grasp he had, it's gone. It's not there anymore. Look at this. Tony Pajamas just like tacking on 62%. He winds up off stage. Let's see if he can actually, uh, if he can, Chris can do anything with that. No, he's back. He's fine. He's doing dandy. Pretty, pretty fine. Just chilling. Having fun. You know, throwing. I, I, I don't even know what this is. Side magnet? What would you? Anyways. Um, <laughs> which this, one is which? Uh, it looks like big purple thingies floating around in the sky. That's all I see. Anyways, um, oh. all right. Ooh. Yeah, to get a little bit of healing on, but that healing is gonna end up in you losing your second stock to 92%, and you know might be climbing. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's like like the Thanos meme. What did you gain? I healed 6% from PK Fire. <laughs> what did it cost you? Everything. Oh! Well, not quite everything, because Tony Pajama still takes that game in the same way he took two previous stocks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's just been a consistent way for him to be killing um, PK Chris when he's off stage. Yo, PK Chris, he plays Ness. He knows what it's like to do that to the other guy. I wonder if he's going to have like a crisis of identity now, now that he's been <laughs> on the other side. It's like, oh my god, is this what I've been doing to everyone else for years? Is, is this what it feels like? <laughs> to not be normal? <laughs> to not, to, n <laughs> to do the ditto and be abnormal. That's <sighs> looking like, ow, my ear, ow, I'm so sorry. What? Um, You're no. okay? No. Oh. Uh, I'm still watching uh, Ness gameplay, and <laughs> the, the your brain is trying to escape out of your cranium. It's trying not to go back to the mental hospital. <laughs> Do I was doing uh, Bayo did with Amarillas. That's definitely a mental assignment. That's um not a happy place. <laughs> it's a it's a very sad place. <laughs> but for sure, we have to get back right into FD. And like I was saying. I think this is definitely a stage that really like is more of a PK Chris thing than just like a Ness thing. However, like I, I'm, I'm doing these swinging things because I will say, keep in mind what was so good for Tony Pajamas in the last game. It was the advantage state. He was putting him off the ledge. He was 
getting those juggles. And FD is the kind of stage that will just, it, like, it really exacerbates that if that's been a problem for you. So I'm kind of surprised that, uh, I mean, he's doing well right now with Chris. But the fact that that's how Tony, really felt like that was how Tony Pajamas was winning, I'm surprised he's taking him back here. Mm -hmm. But for sure, what we're kind of seeing right now is just two little boys having fun. And, um... Ooh. <laughs> I don't know if we can show that on Twitch. Well, okay. Um, anyways. <laughs> that is going to be them being at very even percents right now. And... Well, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, responded in kind quickly. Uh -huh. We have two stocks apiece. <laughs> Not really much, uh, much in the way of huge advantages, especially considering the fact that the last, the last game we saw, Tony ran away with it, so it seems like at the very least, PK Chris has figured out how to kill more consistently, not going to be dropped. Okay, never mind. Uh, sure, why? Uh, I, was that even... Was it, did he snipe the PK Thunder? I don't even think he did. He was floating. He was like, okay, I'm just going to wait. And then I... <laughs> he waited into the blast zone. Yeah. Just gracefully drifted. This kid, this kid got some brain power, and you know, it was like a 9,000 IQ game, but just did not execute it. I'm sorry. Look, you you can't you can't expect a tiny child with like the the IQ of like a, a 97 year old. To just <laughs> always make the best decisions. What about, what ninety seven year olds do you know that are just throwing out neutral airs all the time? Oh shit! They're not because their brain is not much better. <laughs> Hello, they're not in a mental hospital. They are. <laughs> but let me stop. I actually don't hate uh, uh, Ness as much as I say I do, but um, uh, I, I would like to see. I, I would like a little bit of um, you know, just. Down. Ooh. Okay, so, oh, oh. so this match at this point, if you are PK Chris, you basically need some crazy edge guard because surviving this long against Ness, it's just gonna be so hard. I mean, so many of his moves kill right now. Forward tilt will kill. Up tilt will kill. Grab will kill. You can heal him, and uh, that's certainly gonna do it. That's how we've seen him do it time and time again. And also, I love the fact that he's going for that down smash specifically because it stops him from going for air dodge to the ledge, mm -hmm. which is normally like, that's what Ness likes to do if he's worried about his uh, B getting sniped or absorbed or something like that. So if he's sticking out that yo-yo there, he can never go for that option. And I'm really excited to see the mix up where then he just goes down there and absorbs the PK Thunder. Absolutely. And that's kind of the thing you've really like been seeing how hard it is for PK Chris to kind of flip the momentum of the game. We, um, you know, seen he took the first stock. I mean, first first game, sorry. He took the first game, he was feeling pretty comfortable. Understood, but then the way that, like, Tony Pajamas really just got a hold of the same thing like what happened with Mr. E just really understands how to really keep PK Chris at the ledge, and that's exactly what we've been seeing for three games already. And that's what I love the fact that we did not go back to FD. <laughs> uh, Chris learned his lesson and instead we're here and already he's using that platform. He's using it to help him avoid getting juggled forever. He can be useful. Even if you're off stage, you can maybe aim for that platform you know, to get back on. Yeah, like, look at this. I've already the disadvantage is being cleaned up so much from PK Chris. And if he manages to keep that going, I could definitely see uh, a reverse 2-0 going on. Because if you're managing to neutralize what was by far the strongest aspect of Tony Pajama's game plan, that's a path to victory, my friend. Mm -hmm. And we're just seeing all of these get-up options just snipe. I really feel like we might just need to see... PK Chris slow it down. He has a lot of situations where he can stall and he showed us before plenty and plenty times again. That's just exactly what we need here to stop the bleeding because it's looking like he stopped the bleeding. Put a little um, bandage on it, wrapped it pretty well. Got a nurse in the building and um, just nurse Neth back to health. Uh, well, not full health, but never mind. <laughs> Wait, that is not the That was up smash. And then the up smash, and then the wall, and then the scream, and then the taunt. He was, he was literally 
under the stage. So, Yo Yo goes. Yo Yo goes under the stage. Yup. I don't know what to tell you. I would never. You would never think something as you know so minuscule and minute as a Yo Yo could be that strong. Hello. Hey, if we put smacked in the face with a Yo Yo, that stuff hurts. It's strong, but it's not that strong that like sends you flying like across the freaking t um Smashville like you know background. Hello. Like they really just had to stop by Tom Nook and just like Ooh. yeah, points off Sakurai for realism. I mean, we're, we have to set we have to set the tone. We have to set the story. Oh. Oh. No. Oh my God! I killed. That was definitely some questionable DI. And if you're Tony, you will take that because you're one stock away. He fell out of it. You're one stock away right now from taking out PK Crest. Another, like, Encore champion might fall by the wayside here at fifth place. I don't know. We have to get the new kids in for this generation of, you know, Smash Ultimate players paving the way. I mean, not even just, like, new kids because we've seen Tony Pajamas here plenty of times. Not me specifically, but we know of Tony Pajamas. So, it, it just might be one of those things where PK Chris might have to step down. I mean, it certainly would be cool. I mean, if, if uh, Tony Pajamas is making a fat stack, maybe he'll come here more often. I don't know. You got to make that brave. He's alive. He's alive. It's spooky season. He has to stay alive. Never mind. Never mind. Spoke too soon. I'm so sorry. Yep. And now we're back to Neutral Air City. Neutral Air City? Yeah, Neutral Air City, you know? There's a lot, there's a lot more air. things than just neutral air for you to warrant neutral air city. You see how many freaking moves this kid has? Excuse me? It's, oh, yes, he has plenty of moves, but in the neutral here, we are actually seeing very reliably the same ones. Also, that dash grab in was fantastic from, uh, from Tony Pajamas. He hasn't been touched since he respawned from the platform. That's the first time. Let's see if we think this is going to be able to do that much with it. Oh boy, we're oh, seeing PK Chris at 104% and climbing and this is really just super hard for PK Chris to actually get back to some normal state of just existing and trying to take off this stock from Tony Pajamas but it's not looking too well. You need to be really patient in this corner right here because if you ever want to get out of this position, you have to wait, and that's exactly what PK Chris did. Getting out of that corner and forcing. Ooh, that's a win condition. Ooh. If you actually land that, which it doesn't get the chance to, the Tony Pajamas. If that, if that little tail had connected, if the th if it had actually managed to go back around, that 100.